Gaming Vault presents 15 things you need to know before you buy Mega Man 11. Mega Man is gaming royalty, as anyone who's been playing games for more than 20 years would tell you. Capcom's Blue Bomber headlines a truly iconic franchise, representing so much of what made this medium tick back in its earlier days. And after an eight-year hiatus, Capcom is doing exactly what they've been doing for the past few years. They're listening to fans. Mega Man is coming back, and it looks like he's coming back in exactly the manner we would have all hoped for. As Mega Man 11's launch draws closer, the hype surrounding the action platformer continues to ramp up. And in this feature, we're going to take a look at 15 of the game's biggest talking points. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The Setup Mega Man 11 is going to be as traditional of a Mega Man experience as you can imagine, so mainstays like Dr. Wily and Dr. Light are all obviously going to be a central part of the game's setup. In his earlier days, Dr. Wily worked on something called the Double Gear System, a device that can be used to significantly boost the power and speed of robots, but research on it was forced to come to an end due to its potential dangers. This event played a part in the rift between Dr. Wily and Dr. Light, and now, years later, Dr. Wily returns with his Double Gear System, stealing eight of Dr. Light's robots and using it on them as a part of his plan to take over the world. As always, it falls to Mega Man to stop him, who gets outfitted by Dr. Light with a prototype double gear system of his own. Double Gear That double gear system is going to be a pretty important part of the game itself as well. The double gear system allows Mega Man either great speed or greater power, with one of the modes allowing him to shoot more powerful shots and the other allowing him to slow down time to traverse deadly hazards or dodge incoming attacks. Both come with a timer attached, and can become overheated if used too much, and then they have to be recharged for a short while before they're used again. Additionally, if Mega Man's health is critically low, he can use both gears together at the same time to unleash a powerful charged shot. This, however, leaves him in a weakened state for a short while afterwards. Stages Mega Man 11 will be sticking with a lot of traditions of the Mega Man series, and just like it has been the case with all previous mainline Mega Man titles, it will feature 8 stages for players to play through. All of these will be unlocked from the get-go, and can be tackled in whichever order you want. Of course, we're assuming that as always, in spite of this open-ended nature, there will be an order that will be more optimal than others. Robot Masters And who exactly will Mega Man be going up against? As we mentioned, Dr. Wily steals eight of Dr. Light's robots, using his double gear system on them to turn them into eight of his own robot masters, who each act as the final bosses of each of Mega Man 11's stages. These are Bounce Man, Block Man, Torch Man, Tundra Man, Acid Man, Fuse Man, and Impact Man. The Visuals Mega Man games, especially the original mainline Mega Man series, are usually associated with a very specific art style and visual look. With the exception of Mega Man 8, they all sport a very retro pixel art style look, but with Mega Man 11, that's no longer going to be the case. Mega Man 11 features a 2.5D graphic style with full polygonal visuals and character models, all in the backdrop of hand-drawn 2D side-scrolling environments, making it the first game in the mainline series to do that. And while that may raise a few doubts for veteran fans of the series, it seems Capcom have given it a lot of thought. Modernizing Mega Man As we mentioned, Mega Man games and a pixel art style usually go hand in hand. For the first half dozen or so Mega Man games, that wasn't really a conscious decision as much as it was a product of its own time, but with Mega Man 9 and 10, Capcom very consciously chose to make them look like retro games, to make them act like throwbacks to the classics. Even though the visual style in Mega Man 11 is changing to represent the next step forward for the series, Capcom have taken care to make sure that the precision action and platforming that one usually associates with Mega Man is still retained. From frame-by-frame -frame references to his animations to the way the levels have been designed to complement that, it seems like Capcom are successfully striking the right balance. Voice Acting Voice acting in the Mega Man X games has never won any awards, and it probably never will with its overly corny nature, hilarious delivery, and cartoonish writing. For many though, the laughably bad quality is almost something that seems to work well in unintentional ways. For those people, there's good news. Mega Man 11 will feature a fully voiced cast. Thankfully enough though, from everything that we've seen and played of the game so far, it isn't nearly as bad as many might remember from some of the series' other games. It's still not going to win any awards either, but at least it's tolerable. 
New and Classic Moves Mega Man 11 will see the return of many classic moves that fans of the series will be familiar with, including the likes of charged Mega Buster shots and slides, but there will be new moves and abilities to consider as well. We've already spoken of the double gear system, which adds an extra layer to the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. For instance, using the ability to slow down time to maneuver around particularly tricky death traps will be quite important. While the supercharged shot when Mega Man's health is critically low will also come in very handy. Additionally, upon beating each robot master, Mega Man will also obtain new weapons that he can then use in other stages. The Lab Dr. Light's lab will serve as a sort of hub for upgradation in Mega Man 11. Players can use any bolts that they acquired from enemies across all stages to return to Dr. Light's lab at any time, where they can then buy new upgrades, which will provide various boosts and abilities. Additionally, players will also be able to equip and unequip these upgrades to suit the needs of particular stages or bosses. Challenges Based on the classic time attack mode that Mega Man fans will be quite familiar with, Mega Man 11 will feature challenges for players to take on, which will come with all of their own specific sets of rules. The time attack mode will, of course, be your regular time trial, tasking players with completing levels as quickly as they can, while the score attack challenges will require players to rack up as many points as possible, with you getting more points if you defeat multiple enemies in a row. New Challenges Beyond the relatively more vanilla time attack and score attack, there are a couple of other new challenges as well, which sounds pretty interesting. The Jump Saver Challenge will feature a jump counter, which will dictate the maximum number of jumps a player can make, so you'll have to complete the entire level within the given number of jumps. The Balloon Rush Mode will see you bombing through stages filled with blue and red balloons, tasking you with attacking the former. Miss any blue balloons or attack any red ones, and you'll incur a time penalty. Leaderboards Challenges will have an added layer of competitiveness as well, because your results will be tied to a global online leaderboard. Your scores and times will be uploaded to these leaderboards after each challenge, which will obviously inherently promote replayability. Here's something else that's interesting. You can also upload replays of your runs online after each challenge. Nothing revolutionary by any means, but a nice touch nonetheless. Difficulty Settings Mega Man games are known for their hard-as-nails difficulty, requiring precision platforming and timing from players almost constantly, and in this regard, Mega Man 11 will be no different. Wouldn't be much of a Mega Man game if it were. That said, if you're a newcomer who's looking to get into the series or just want a breezier experience, there's concessions being made for you as well. Mega Man 11 has difficulty options similar to Mega Man 10, but more expanded this time around, with four difficulty settings. Newcomer, Casual, Normal, and Superhero. MT Framework Though Capcom initially created the MT Framework engine as a way to power titles such as Lost Planet and Dead Rising, it went on to expand far beyond its scope, to the point now where, with maybe the exception of the new RE engine, it's one of their foremost game development engines. Mega Man 11 2 is made using the MT Framework engine, something that Capcom plans to keep on doing even for potential future installments in the Mega Man franchise. Price $60 seems to be pretty much the standard price for most, if not all, major releases these days, but Mega Man 11 is bucking the trend here, and is going for a significantly slashed price. Capcom will instead retail the game for $30 on all platforms that it's releasing for, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. We can probably expect that to have a pretty huge impact on the game's sales. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.